Hi, I'm Sam, a senior software engineer here at Matillion. Today I'm going to show you our new feature, Shared Jobs. Let's get started. Firstly, let's take this simple job. It simply takes a table and unloads it into S3, which sort of acts like a backup. What would be really nice is if we could give this a number of tables so that multiple tables could then be backed up into S3 from one job. Now what Shared Jobs will provide us with is the ability to actually do this, but from the nature of a single component. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare this job to be turned into a Shared Job. The first step is to parameterize the job, which means add variables for the relevant data that needs to be dynamic. I'm going to do this now. Now we have this job parameterized, we can continue by making a root job that will run this child job. The root job requires an S3 location variable and a grid variable to add our table names to. We also need a private variable to work with our fixed iterator. Now we have the root job in place, we can add a fixed iterator that will run our sub job once for each table specified in the grid variable. We are now ready to generate a shared job from this parameterized standard job. We can do this by selecting the root job, right clicking on it and selecting generate shared job. From here we can give it a package name. And a normal name. A description of our choice. We can also pick a custom image which will be used on our component. The root job will be automatically selected from the job we chose to generate the shared job from. And any additional jobs are automatically calculated. In the parameter configuration screen, we can give our variables a display name. As you can see, these variables are actually pulled from the root job and they must be public. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to create a new job so that we can run our shared job from somewhere. I'm going to head over to the shared jobs panel, which is new to this version, and find my shared job in the package format and drag it on. Now we have our shared job component on the canvas, we can continue by configuring it to behave the same as the previous example. The subtle difference here is that I'm going to add two tables instead of one. Perfect. Our shared job component is now valid, so we can continue to run it. I'm 
We can see it succeeded, so let's have a look at what it did. And clearly here we can see it's actually ran the backup job once for each of the tables specified in the grid variable. This is one of the great features shared jobs brings. I hope that video was useful. For more information, please visit matillion.com. Thanks.